Hi, my name is Ananya. In this video, I'm going to read you The Smart Mouse. I chose this book because this book is very fun to read and it has a connection to many people who have been tricked. Mouse lived by the river. He was very smart. He had a nice home. He had lots of food to eat. He was very happy. He did not want or need anything else. Then one day, Mouse looked across the river. He saw trees full of tasty fruit. The trees were beside the village, on the other side of the river. Mouse, now Mouse wanted the fruit on the opposite river bank. He leaned over the river to look at the fruit more closely. Suddenly, Crocodile jumped from the river. Crocodile tried to bite Mouse. Mouse was startled or scared. He jumped back. So Mouse had a problem. Mouse wanted the fruit across the river, but Mouse knew he could not get into the river. Crocodile would eat up poor Mouse. Mouse thought, how can I get that fruit? Cro crocodile lives in the river. I know I'm smarter than Crocodile. I must think of a good plan. Mouse began to search for another way across the river. He could not see any other way. Mouse thought and thought. Finally, he thought of the perfect plan. The next day, Mouse went down to the river. He said loudly, Crocodile! Crocodile thought it was odd for Mouse to call him. But Crocodile stuck his head out of the river anyway. What do you want, Mouse? asked Crocodile. Do you want to be my breakfast? Mouse answered, No. I have important news from the king to share. The king? said Crocodile. What is the news? The king is having a big fancy meal. He wants to invite the crocodiles. I have to count all the crocodiles in the river. Then the king will know how much food to serve, said Mouse. Crocodile came out of the river. How can I help, he asked Mouse. Please ask all the crocodiles to make a line. The crocodiles should line up from this side of the river to the other. Then I can count all the crocodiles, said Mouse. The river contained many crocodiles. Crocodile dove into the river. He told his family and friends what to do. The crocodiles tossed and turned in the river. They all lined up from head to tail. The crocodiles made a line from one side of the river to the other. The line is perfect. Thank you. I'm grateful for your help, Mouse said to the crocodiles. Now before I count you, please promise me one thing. What is that? The crocodiles asked. Please do not eat me while I'm counting. I have to report to the king, Mouse said. There will be no feast for you if I cannot report to the king. We will not eat you, promised the crocodiles. They thought only of the king's feast. Mouse jumped on top of Crocodile's head. Mouse counted one. He jumped on another crocodile's head and said two. He jumped and counted again and again. At last, he reached the other side of the river. He was very close to the tasty fruit. Crocodile asked Mouse, How many crocodiles are there? What will you report to the king? Mouse smiled. He said, There are just enough crocodiles to get me across the river. I will tell the king that Mouse is smarter than Crocodile any day. 
Mouse ran off to eat the fruit in the trees beside the village. The crocodiles were mad, but they knew that Mouse had played a smart trick on them.